I wanted to briefly introduce the 73 Solex I've been working on, something I've been talking about quite a bit, and it's somewhat crep related in that it's a display piece at my stand and actually generates quite a lot of interest, um, even though it's not yet running. But uh, we're further along than uh, we were when it was just a bunch of rusty parts packed away in boxes. So there's been some progress. But just to fill you in, this was a really, really popular bike back in the Paris of 1970s when I was a kid in grade school there. It was hard to turn around without bumping into one of them. As a matter of fact, the Solex people, let me pan around here a little bit, um, in one of their ad campaigns had a lot of really colorful posters and one of them, one of my favorites actually, said, sooner or later, you'll own a Solex. So that's what the poster was and it certainly proved true for me. It took about 45 years, but here it is. Very generous gift from my parents. This was uh, stowed away in one of their sheds out at the farm. And did I say parents? I meant uh, my, my cousin, sorry. My parents had nothing to do with giving me this bike and there's no way to edit that out. So we just have to leave it in because all this is on my phone. So it's a front wheel drive bike. Basically you'd pedal a few feet down the road, uh, drop the engine down onto the front motor, which would get everything running and that's what it would drive. It, it's a front wheel drive moped, kind of unusual, but at this point, uh, fairly iconic and enjoying something of a cult status. There are quite a few people who really enjoy finding old Solexes and fixing them up like I'm doing. And obviously I have more of a connection uh, because I remember these from my days in Paris. Uh, where they were kind of an underdog moped, not really a, a high-end machine. But anyway, I remember them. I never rode one, so when I get this up and running, it'll actually be the first time that I ride a moped. Uh, speaking of riding, you could simply put a chain on, which I need to be doing. That'll be one of the projects. And ride it as a bicycle, albeit a heavy bicycle because you'll be pedaling around with a motor on the front of your bike, something you usually don't have on a typical bicycle. And that adds quite a bit of weight and it'll take a lot of effort to overcome that. Uh, but it's a single speed, yeah, front and rear brakes. This is the front brake lever. The rear one is broken off, but I do have that <coughs> in my box of new parts. Anything else I can say about it? We'll have to get a pedal. You can actually order these individually. Um, I'll give a plug to my resource and good friend, Brian Solex up in New York City. He's been so invaluable in helping restore this and get the bike to the condition it's in right now. Um, without his help, it would probably still be a box full of rusty parts and wouldn't be anything approaching uh, the condition it's in right now. So uh, big shout out for Brian. Thank you very much. And we'll just leave it at that. At about four minutes. So I think I've talked enough, probably way too much.